I want to go to you to the second second amendment for a minute if I can. Well, one of the things that we found in, in some of the papers as we looked, and you know we've looked at thousands of them, and there, there's no way you're going to be able to recall all of them, although I'm sure you've looked at some of them. You, you chose a phrase when talking about the Second Amendment that you were not sympathetic when discussing someone's claim that D.C.'s handgun ban violated their fundamental pre-existing right to bear arms. And, and I have a very specific question for you. Do you believe it is a fundamental pre-existing right to have an arm to defend yourself? Senator Coburn, I very much appreciate how deeply important the right to bear arms is to millions and millions of Americans. And I accept Heller, which made clear that the Second Amendment conferred that right upon individuals and not simply collectively. I'm not asking you about your judicial. I'm asking you, Elena Kagan, do you personally believe there is a fundamental right in this area. Do, do you agree with Blackstone that the natural right of resistance and self-preservation, the right of having and using arms for self-preservation and defense? He didn't, he didn't say that was a constitutional right. He said that's a natural right. And what I'm asking you is, do, do you agree with that? Senator Coburn, to be honest with you, I, I don't have a view of what are natural rights independent of the Constitution. And my job as a justice will be to enforce and defend the Constitution and other laws of the United States. So, so you wouldn't embrace what the Declaration of Independence says, that we have certain God-given inalienable rights that aren't given in the Constitution, that they're ours, ours alone, and that the government doesn't give those to us? S Senator Coburn, I believe that the uh, Constitution is an extraordinary document. Uh, and I'm not saying I do not believe that there are rights pre-existing the, uh, the Constitution and the laws. But my job as a justice is to enforce the Constitution and the laws. Well, I understand that. Uh, well, I'm not talking about as a justice. I'm talking about Elena Kagan. What do you believe? It, are there inalienable rights for us? Do you believe that? Senator Coburn, I, I think that the question of what I believe as to what people's rights are outside the Constitution and the laws, uh, that you should not want me to act in any way on the basis of such a belief. I, I if would, I had one, I would want you or, to always act on the basis of a belief of what our Declaration of Independence says. I, I think you should want me to act on the basis of law. And, uh, and, and that is what I have upheld to do if I'm fortunate enough to be concerned. Uh, to be confirmed is to act on the basis of law, which is the constitutions and the statutes of the United States. 